Hi guys, welcome back to Gloss and Sparkle. So what I have for you today is an unboxing. Today we're gonna to be unboxing the 11 Odelica's Club from Adorable Elements. And it came in a really cute bubble mailer like this. And this is what it looks like. It also included the Beads of the Month Club's welcome booklet and also a Beads of the Month COVID-19 policy just showing how what efforts they're taking to stay safe during this time. So let's get into what they sent. So first off, they sent a Swarovski Crystal Bonus, and it looks like this. This would be great as a pendant. I don't see a hole in it. Let's check it out. So this is quite an interesting piece. I don't see a hole in it, but um, yeah, I'm not really sure how I would use this. Probably as some sort of pendant, I could do some sort of beaded bail. That would be really pretty, but this is very, very nice. So here's the items list. It shows each of the items that was sent along with how much they cost retail. So we can see that with all of them, the total retail value was $29.50, and so there was a savings of $4.55. This is what they look like, and let's just get into it. Okay, so I've lined them up in the order that's on the manifest. So first off, we have the Matte Opaque Turquoise Blue Luster, and that is this one. Super pretty. I love these little containers. They kind of remind me of Tic Tac containers, little mini versions. And just so you guys know, I, I don't think I mentioned this, this is the single Delica's Club. You can get a double version as well, um, but this one is the single club, and it retails for $24.95. I apologize if I say very pretty, so pretty, or any other kind of variation of pretty. <laughs> my cousin pointed out to me that I say it like 50 times in my last video, and I know it's just that I think they're so pretty. <laughs> okay, so let's check out what these look like. Those are beautiful. I love the matte. They're almost kind of like a minty. They're called turquoise blue luster but they're very, very minty, I would say. I really like these. And of course with Delicas, as with all Miyuki Delicas, they're just so uniform and that's what I love about them. I love using these in projects because they just snap together perfectly. So the next ones on the list are the Matte Metallic Steel Blue Luster. And this is what they look like in the package. Now these ones do strike me as turquoise. Take a look at these. Very, very pretty, very, very glossy. And there's almost like a AB finish on them. It doesn't say that there is, it just says it's a, a blue luster, but you can kind of see the iridescence just slightly in these. Very, very pretty. Oh, I did it again. <laughs> I said it again. So for the next ones, these are the dyed semi-frosted silver lined mint green. This is what they look like in the package. These ones are super cute. Let's see, get some of these out here. Very, very pretty, very pastel. And I like the, oops, I just lost a bunch of them onto the floor. <laughs> oh, there goes another one, bye. Um, yeah, these are super pretty. Oh, I did it again, oh my word, I'm so sorry you guys. I need to think of some other descriptive words. These are gorgeous. Yes, I absolutely love these. Okay, so for the next ones, we're getting into the grays. This is the dyed semi-frosted silver lined gray. Let's get some of these out. So I'm filming in natural light today. I don't know if it makes a difference. Or what I know it's a little bit shadowy but this is what these look like very pretty just a subtle metallic you can see that silver line and it's actually a very soft gray I like these a lot so these next ones might be my favorite these are the opaque ghost gray luster as you can see it's a very pale gray and it almost has a milkiness to it they're very opaque and then with that beautiful luster on there, 
So now I hope that they're, they kind of look like in screen, they're coming up a little bit more white than gray or light colored than gray, but they definitely are a true baby gray, if you will. And the gloss on these is so beautiful, that luster. All right, so for the next ones, we have Opaque C Opal AB. These are so pretty, you guys. I don't know if you can tell. They are a darker grayish turquoise color, and they have a purple shift. Can you guys get any of that purple shift? It is gorgeous. Wow. I am super, super excited about these ones. They almost have a satin finish. Very, very pretty. I could see putting these with other beads that are purple or other elements that are purple because that's gonna help that shift be even more noticeable. So pretty. You guys will have to let me know in the comments which one was your favorite. Okay, these are the Silver Gray Ceylon. Look at those. Here's a little messed up one. <laughs> you don't often see that with Muki Delicas, but once in a while you'll get a wonky bead, and that's okay. But this is what these look like, and I love them. Okay, last but not least is the Sky Blue Ceylon. These are beautiful. So pretty. All of these beads just make me want to do bead work, like in the worst way. It just makes me want to like put them all away, turn this camera off and go make something. <laughs> so look at these. These are the babiest blue you will ever see. They almost have a milky white color to them, but then they've got a beautiful luster. The blue pigment in here is so soft, and along with the luster, it almost makes them look slightly transparent, but I don't think they are. Okay, so those are all the items in the 11 Odelicas of the Month Club from Adornable Elements, and I'm not sure if I mentioned pricing yet. So the single club retails for $24.95, and if you choose to get the double portion, that is $39.95. Now, so Adornable Elements has a bunch of different Beads of the Month clubs. They have Fire Polished, Hot and Trendy, Two Hole, 11 Odelicas, 11 O Seed Beads, Swarovski Crystals, or you can get a rotating Beads of the Month club where they send you a different one every single month. So that's kind of cool. So really they have some beautiful options for everyone depending on your beading style. Now in case you're wondering about my ring, these are made with Toho Treasures. The band is a Toho Treasure in matte black. Then I've just got some, I believe these are Miyuki 11 silver seed beads. And then I've got some Edo Tohos in matte gray. And then I just have some crystals. I believe these are four by six. So I will leave the link for this Beads of the Month Club in the description bar so you can go on over and check them out for yourself and see if there's anything you're interested in. As always, I thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye!